everybody, what's going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go over the most important tip I can possibly give you for winning more games in MLB The Show, uh, and it'll be The Show 20, or it's going to be any year, really, 19, 18, 17, 16, it'll be in 21, same thing. So you guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to hop into some challenge of the week right quick here uh, because I'm going to go over this here in just a second as a, as a way to get better at the thing I'm going to talk to you guys about. But um, the number one thing uh, to help you win more games online uh, and just win more games in general in MLB The Show is plate discipline. If you guys have joined any of my streams uh, over uh, over the last year, uh, first of all, thank you for being in there. But um, but second of all, uh, yeah, you guys have heard me talk about the number one most important thing to being successful in this game is plate discipline. Uh, so I'm going to talk here while I'm playing this. So uh, who knows how well I'll actually do. But uh, but yeah, plate discipline is is so important for several different reasons in the game. All right, that's a big shot right there for uh, for Bryce Harper. Nice shot right there. All right, so uh, so here's the here's the reasons that it is uh, it is very important. All right, the first thing it can do for you is it will raise the uh, the pitchers. I shouldn't have swung at that one. It will raise the pitchers' pitch count. Um, you know, and your starting pitcher, uh, you know, getting them maybe to the bullpen. I know a lot of people are using starting pitchers out of the bullpen this year, so it's a little different. Um, but getting them to the bullpen, um, you know, sooner uh, typically is a good thing. Uh, you know, if everybody's using Kluber out of the bullpen, maybe it's not uh, the greatest thing in the world right now, but um, but it is what it is. So, uh, so plate discipline, uh, number one thing right there, and I'm not having it right now while I'm talking, uh, is uh, is is that it will it will help you completely uh, by getting them to their bullpen. Now, the second thing that I think uh, I think is important about plate discipline is it allows you to discover and get the timing down of your pitches uh, coming in from the pitcher a little bit better. Uh, so having play discipline and taking pitches, not swinging at everything, uh, is a good way to be able to get that timing down. And uh, God, it's hard to get the timing down while you're talking about on a when a, a pitcher that you're facing is one you haven't actually faced that much. So, uh, but the idea of this is not to be good at this challenge of the week, I'll, and I'll tell you about that here in just a second. But, um, but yeah, play discipline is so important in this game, man. Uh, it can really be the difference maker between uh, between wins and losses. In all honesty, and I really think the the most important the most important aspect of it, and why it is so so necessary in this game, is because if you if you don't have good play discipline, then you're going to be swinging at pitches that are off the off the zone, out of the strike zone, in the dirt, uh, above your head, pitches like that. You know that you're not going to square up. You're not going to hit well. Uh, but if you're taking pitches. And you're taking guy, uh, you know, a guy's just dotting the zone, man, and uh, he's he's just putting dots on the strike zone. And you're taking pitches, and you're trying to keep him from um, from being able to uh, uh, to to pitch you and get you to swing at, at stuff outside the zone. He's going to come across the plate more, and the more that guy comes across the plate, uh, the more likely you are going to be able to square up good pitches and uh, and get a lot of uh, a lot of better hits. Uh, in the game. So whether you're using zone or directional, it doesn't really matter on this aspect, all right? So uh, here's why I use challenge of the week uh, to help practice on this, though, because uh, we're going to go over ways to help you get better at your plate discipline and help you practice uh, to make you a, uh, a much more disciplined hitter at the uh, in the game. So uh, nice, man. We got, a, uh, we got one of the bonuses right there, so that was pretty cool. All right, so challenge of the week. All right, uh, the pitchers in this throw a lot of balls, a lot of bad pitches. And the idea is, uh, when you take pitches, you're going to get um, um, you're going to get multipliers. You're going to get uh, like right now, I have a 25 times multiplier, and I am uh, I'm hitting everything. It doesn't matter really if you're hitting it great um, in this. Uh, the whole idea of this is to watch the pitches, try to get your timing down. Obviously, it's a different pitcher than you're probably going to be seeing in ranked seasons, uh, but sometimes sometimes it'll be the same or uh, or a similar one. Uh, but uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to make sure uh, to not swing at bad pitches. And they're going to throw, like that was, a, eh, I shouldn't have swung at that one. I went back to rookie because that was a third strike. All right, so I have one out now. So you play through this until you get three outs. Uh, but challenge of the week is a great place to practice on your plate discipline uh, because you are going to get a lot of bad pitches. And uh, it's just, uh, you're going to go through the difficulties along the way. Uh, and um, 
like I said, it doesn't matter if you're good at it. It's just a bonus if you happen to be happen to be really good at it. Uh, there's some awesome prizes you can win along the way and uh, and all that. So, uh, but challenge of the week is a great way to work on it. Uh, I a lot of a lot of ways I tell people uh, or or the main way I guess that I tell people uh, when they ask me how they can work on it uh, when we're in streams uh, is uh, and that was a that's a perfect pitch to take right there uh, is uh, and we see you get a two times multiplier when you take the pitch. But in streams, when people ask me uh, the uh, the best way to uh, to learn to take pitches, I tell them the first time when you're playing online, the first time through uh, through the batting order. All right, the first time through the batting order, uh, take until you get a strike. Take until that pitcher throws you a strike. Uh, it'll it'll make them throw a few more pitches. Look, they're probably not going to throw a strike every every time on the first pitch. Uh, they're they're going to throw some strikes, obviously, uh, but uh, there's going to be some that they don't. So. Uh, you might get some walks this way. You might get some uh, some extra guys on base. Um, you know, there's just just a lot of things, a lot of things that you can do uh, that are really going to help you out. And uh, you know, just just working those counts and uh, making the pitcher go deeper into the uh, into the counts is also going to force them to have to go to their bullpen, uh, like I was saying earlier. So uh, that's a uh, that's a big one right there, man. If you're if you're on if you're using zone hitting as opposed to um, maybe as opposed to directional. Uh, if you're using zone hitting and you want to uh, force them to throw more pitches, just sit, sit on one part of the zone, man. Sit on one part of the zone uh, in particular. I should have taken that one. That was a ball, uh, but we hit it pretty decent. Uh, sit on one part of the zone, and if they don't throw it right there, don't swing. And you know that's that's a good way that you can do it. Uh, with directional, it's a little bit easier because uh, you know you can kind of hit uh, balls all over the zone um, if you uh, if you know how to work it right, but. Uh, I think that's a big one. Um, here's a big tip also that I think a lot of people don't know, uh, and this will help you to have better plate discipline, uh, is there is a way to force check swings in the game, all right? Now, I'm not going to tell you that this is 100% accurate because, <laughs> unfortunately, a lot of things in the game aren't, and uh, I don't have any control over that, but uh, it is something that I've found over the last several years, uh, and uh, it's a way that I can force a check swing, um, you know, about... About eighty to ninety percent of the time. So, uh, if you double tap whatever your button, whatever button you're using to swing with. Now, I don't use a power swing button, so uh, I'm assuming it works with that one. But um, I know it's it's a little harder to check swing with the power button, uh, which I guess I guess it should be uh, because you got more velocity coming behind the swing, so it should be a little harder to check that swing. Uh, but if you're using the normal swing button, the X button or the uh, or the O button for the contact swing, which I use with two strikes. Uh, then, uh, then what I like to do is, uh, if you double tap the button as you go to swing, uh, and it's not going to work right there. Okay. Well, it did work right there. I did it right there. I, I just did it. I didn't care if it was a strike or a ball. Uh, I just double tapped X real quick right there. I double tapped X again. It was strike three. Uh, but there I'm showing you guys what it does. If you double tap the button, uh, as you go to swing, uh, then you'll be able to, uh, uh, you'll be able to to check your swing, and um, like I said, it's not 100% effective, uh, but it's a a big check swing thing that a lot of people don't even know I think exists in the game. So um, you know, pass that around, man. Share that on your social media. Let people know about it. But um, these are some ways, man, that I think uh, you guys can really improve your gameplay. Uh, you can really win more games. Uh, go into this challenge of the week. You can also go into custom practice. Uh, that way, you can play on whatever difficulty you like. Uh, you can play with whatever players you like. And, um, you know, you can do whatever matchups you like as well. Maybe get used to hitting a pitcher that you don't typically hit well uh, or, or something like that. So just something that can help uh, help improve your gameplay a little bit. Uh, but a lot of people do Challenge of the Week to warm up uh, just to go play a game in ranked seasons. Um, I think uh, just the slow warm up to the uh, little bit faster pitch speeds uh, and faster. Oh, I meant to swing at that one. A little bit faster pitch speeds and a little bit faster pitches is a nice little uh, build up for you. Um, it's kind of like batting practice. Uh, in a in a weird way. So, uh, but anyway, uh, so I hope you I hope this video has helped you guys. I hope you guys understand why plate discipline is the most important aspect to this game, and uh, it it really will change your gameplay if you guys can get it down and work on it. I suggest working on that over any other thing that you do in this game, uh, hands down. And uh, I guarantee you will notice a big difference instantaneously uh, as soon as you start getting some of these uh, some of these things down. So uh, you guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.